Hey everyone, how's it going? It's Omar here again, and I have another juggling trick for you all today. In my previous video, the trick was a 4 2 3, and the numbers are side swap patterns. Each number means what kind of throw you're doing. And today's trick is another interesting one called a 4 4 1. So, the 4 4 1 is a really confusing trick, so I'm going to play it for you right now in slow motion. So as I mentioned in my 4-2-3 video, 4s are throws where you have a prop and it stays in the same hand but you throw it up high. You're going to be doing 2 of those and then a 1 which would mean this. You would throw the ball from one hand to the other without any height. And then when you combine them together you get 4-4-1. Four, four, Begin, just do a regular 3 ball pattern and just get used to doing a 4-4 four, four in between the pattern. And then four four. I'm just gonna stop right there and then try it again. Four four. And a few more times. Four four. Once you're comfortable with doing four fours, I want you to add the one. So you throw the two in the air and the one that's still in your hand, you immediately throw it to your other hand. So double and then four four one. I'm going to try it again, and I want to encourage you to try it again with your left hand or non-dominant hand doing it. So to find out what hand does the one, it will be the hand that does the first four. So, for example, with my right hand, I'm going to do the first four, so four, four, one. And then this time I'm going to do it with my left hand. 4-4-1. Four, four, and then the one that you throw will be the 4 for the next one if you decide to continue. So, 4-4-1, four, 4-4-1. Four, one, four, four, one. So as soon as I throw the hand, the ball, to my hand, I throw it up right away to continue the pattern. To get used to doing this trick continuously, I'd advise you to do a four for one and then an even number of throws in between. So I'm gonna do four throws in between. So I do four for one, one, two, three, four, four for one, one, two, three, four, four for one. When you do an even number of throws, it forces you to switch hands for the four for one. Once you're comfortable with switching with four throws, try two throws and then keep doing it until you could do it with no throws at all. And you can keep doing a four for one just like this. And, and that was the 4 per 1 video. I hope you all enjoyed. I know slice swap can be really confusing, but once you learn it, you can learn almost any trick you want. Thank you all for watching and have a nice day.